everybody loves to talk about becoming your higher self, becoming the best version of yourself, rebranding yourself. I love to talk about it too. But what I think that nobody talks about is how to close the gap between where you are now and that future version of yourself. So I'm going to share with you the strategy that I use to every single day know that I am taking steps towards becoming her, becoming that best version of myself. Because there is one thing to dream, to, to do your vision boards, to really get clear on who that ultimate version of you is, but it is another thing to actually be taking inspired action, micro steps every single day so that you know that you are becoming her. And that was my biggest struggle. I had all of these big dreams, all of these big goals, all the, this, this vision of what I knew that my future would be about who that ultimate version of me is. And I felt paralyzed. I felt overwhelmed and I felt stuck because I was dreaming about who she is, thinking about who she is, planning, strategizing, and living in this sense of ideation. Every single day that passed, it just felt further and further away because I was still here and I was spending all of my time building out bigger dream boards, bigger vision boards, getting more clarity on who she is without actually taking the steps to become her. And that's what I really want to chat about today because I spent way too much time wasting on the sidelines and dreaming about her, dreaming about my dream life, my, my aspirations, my goals. And I could have put that that time to better use. And I want you to learn from my mistakes. So let's jump into it. This is actually stuff that I haven't shared entirely before. So make sure that you grab a pen and paper, jot this down and take notes because this is valuable. If you are ready to stop playing not to lose and start playing to win, make sure that you grab the ultimate planner. It is free for anybody that comes through this video. There is a link below, but make sure that you click that link because if you go through my Instagram, it'll charge you 27 USD. But through that link, it'll automatically add a coupon for you so that you can grab this too and work through everything that I'm talking about today. So where do we start? Step one, your future vision. The most effective way to change your habits is to focus not on what you want to achieve, but who you wish to become. That is a quote from Atomic Habits by James Clear, and I am currently reading that book. When I read that, I felt that deeply because that is where I want you to start. I want you to get hyper-focused on that future vision of yourself, of your life, and who you will inevitably become. Now, it's one thing to have a goal of starting a podcast, starting a YouTube channel, starting a business, leaving your nine to five, but there's a reason why we want all of those things. There's a reason that we want the beautiful home. There's a reason that we want the loving partner. There's a reason that we want to earn over six figures per year, for example. And I want you to get really clear on why. So instead of just looking at what is that you want a dream house by the beach, why do you want a, your dream house by the beach? What does that look like? What does that feel like? And why do you want that? So for me, on the surface level, I would be looking at it and thinking, okay, beautiful aesthetic home by the beach. It's bougie, it's cute. I love that, but why? Because when I'm by the water, I feel free. I just came back from the beach today. Yes, I put some makeup on. Don't worry, I did not go to the beach with this makeup, but I, love being by the beach. I'm a Pisces. My soul feels free when I'm by nature, especially water. Being able to walk near the beach would definitely be something that would be a goal of mine. Already I'm five, ten minutes away from the beach. If I could be on the beach in my dream home with my family, I would feel like I'm on vacation all the time. That is my why. I don't want to feel as though I'm working in order to go on vacation, to have my free time, to have my, my leisure time. I want to feel as though my life is the freaking holiday. And if I lived in a house there, that's what I would feel like. If I lived in a house by the beach, I would be able to be really active and be out every single day. It would be one of my core values. I want to live a life of financial freedom, of location freedom, of time freedom. And I don't want to ever feel as though I'm boxed in or have to be anywhere. And being at a home, in a home that looks like a freaking vacation would make me feel like my life is a vacation. And that is my goal because I want to get paid to exist. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to have to make a living. I don't want to have to be anywhere. I want it to be on my terms. And that's the type of lifestyle that I want to live. And I want you to be dissecting every single area within your dream life, within that future version of yourself with why. The true question and the most powerful question that we can ask ourselves is why? Because the reason that we are going after these materialistic things is not because we actually care about them. It's because they will evoke a feeling in us that we will be able to embody a certain sense of confidence that we are on the right track, that we are becoming who we want to be. And that is where real change happens. So get really clear. If you haven't already, make sure that you grab the ultimate planner. I'm going to quickly flick through and show you some of the questions that I ask you inside of the planner. And this will really just help you get started, get on your way and to start making some major moves. But underneath each of these, I want you to truly be questioning yourself and asking, why do I want this? Why do I want the wardrobe? Why do I want the home? Why do I want the husband? Why do I want the kids? Why do I want to be able to travel, etc., etc., etc. Until you get down to feelings and what that truly will mean to you. If you truly want to close the gap between where you are now and where you want to be, you need to show up like that version of yourself now. There is no way around it. You sitting on the sidelines is not going to improve or get you any closer to that future version of yourself. You planning is not gonna get you any closer to it. You strategizing is not gonna get you any closer to it. There's only so much that you can learn on the sidelines. Now, I am talking from experience, okay? I started YouTube about a month and a half ago and I'm just celebrating my first thousand subscribers. Yay, love you guys. Um, but I have been waiting on the sidelines, planning, strategizing, dreaming, making goals on starting a YouTube when I'm ready. Now I've been in limbo in that planning stage in my Delulu living my best life stage for over 10 years. Now that is 10 years that I have wasted and granted, I needed to, that was a part of my journey. Maybe it's even a part of my journey to be able to come here and tell you that story of the fact that when I was 18, my dad was like, oh cool, you just started your YouTube, you bought your camera, when are you gonna upload? And I never did because I was too scared. But what I've learned is that by taking action, by putting yourself into that arena, you are going to be learning lessons and growing in ways that you can't learn on the sidelines. You can't learn about how to get your first thousand subscribers. Well, if you do want to learn about it, I'll link it down below. I'll teach you what I did, but you can't learn by always being on the sidelines. There is only so much that you can do not being in the arena. There's only so much you can do in the stands. I think about the fact that in a month and a half, I've been able to grow by a thousand, which is mind blowing for me. That was like a six month goal for me. And I was able to do that in a month. But if I had continued to plan, to strategize, to learn, to watch another YouTube about how to grow, how to start, etc., all the beginner tips, I would still have been on zero if I didn't just bite the bullet and do the damn thing. And that is what I want you to understand. There's only so much you can learn by reading, by learning, and that is actually a form of procrastination. Now, I'm a very good procrastinator because I told myself that that is the real work. That is what your leaders do. That is what the 1% do. They learn everything. They buy a course. They watch YouTube. They buy a book. They buy everything. They have all the gear. No idea. And that is how they're going to win. But how you're truly going to win is just by starting. Start that journey take that first step and do it boldly. Do it with intention. You can still learn, you can still strategize, you can still plan, but the most important thing is for you to be in the arena because there's only so much that you can do, there's only so much that you can learn, and there's only so much you can achieve by being an outsider looking in. And the only way that you're gonna get closer to who that future version of you is, is by taking that first step, actually doing something about it. And I know why we sit 
on the sidelines. We sit in the stands, behind the glass, behind our screens, watching everybody else chase their dreams, go after everything that you want to achieve, and we are just paralyzed and overwhelmed sitting at home, drowning in that overwhelm. It's because we are scared of failing, because we are seeing people surpass us and go on to achieve everything that we want to achieve. We are comparing ourselves to, to those people. And I want to remind you that not only is it okay to fail, it is a necessity. If you do not fail, you can not succeed. Every, every one of your greatest entrepreneurs, role models, I guarantee you they have a catastrophic failure story failure story, even though failures don't really exist. It's just perception, let's be honest. But something that I had to come to terms with is that failure and success are one and the same. Failure is literally the reference point in order to determine whether you are successful. And I think that that has actually been the hardest lesson that I've learned. If you knew that you had to fail a hundred times in order to be successful, to achieve your greatest dreams, to truly go after whatever goal that it is that you want to go after, if you knew that you had to fail a hundred times in order to achieve that thing, would you care that you failed? Or would you see it as a badge of honor? Would you go, amazing, 100 failures, here I come, tick, one done. Let's go get the next one. Would you be waiting after the first failure, beating yourself up, getting in your head about it, overthinking, taking six months, maybe even a year to put yourself back out there again, to have the courage to, to go out there and try again? No, you would stop. You would learn why you failed in that specific experience. You would take the lesson and you would get back out there. You would not waste any time because you know that after a hundred times, you're gonna win. So who cares about how many times you're failing? And that is something that I am really taking on board with me and thinking about a lot is fail fast. I know that my success is inevitable. I know who I am becoming. I know where I will be one day. And the only way for me to get there is to fail a hell of a lot of times. So I'm trying to fail a hundred times in the next 90 days. And I challenge you to do the same because that is going to be the fastest way to get to your dream self, to fail as much as you can. Because on the other side of failure is everything that you dream of, everything that you work for, everything that you want. And you have to fail in order to learn those lessons because it is not a failure or a success or a good thing or a bad thing, those don't truly exist. Everything is a lesson. Everything is an opportunity for growth. You just need to see it that way. So now that you have a clear vision of who that future version of you is, your dream life, you yourself, and have truly worked through this part of the Ultimate Planner, I move into the real glow up. Now this is the true inner and outer work. I think that when it comes to a glow up, we all love a good makeover. You know, we think of your iconic movies. For example, The Princess Diaries, absolutely love that makeover. My, my curly hair really resonated and I felt like she was my person. Um, or another movie that I absolutely loved growing up is she, She's All That. Loved that makeover. And from that initial external glow up, they start to have a bit more confidence. They start to put themselves out there more and they slowly start to embody and shift that identity that they are moving into. In The Princess Diaries, for example, she's becoming a princess. In She's All That, she's becoming the cool, popular girl. And I think that sometimes well, for most of us, it is easiest to start there. When it comes to the glow up, it's easiest to start at the external because looking at those materialistic things such as wearing makeup, doing your hair nicely, dressing nice is fantastic, but it's easily achieved because all that you really need to do is put some makeup on, change your clothes, do your hair, get a little bit of guidance and styling. The real reason that that matters is not because of the clothes or the makeup, it's because it makes you feel confident. It's because it empowers you to embody that future version of yourself that is doing the things that you want to do. And then it moves in to the next layer of the real glow up. And we're gonna work from outside 
to inside, okay? Now, once you've worked through that first outer layer, we move into what really matters. We start getting into the real work, okay? The inner work. Now, what are her habits? It is great being Delulu and having big goals and dreaming and looking at the aesthetic of it all, but at the end of the day, if you don't pair your Delulu with action, you're just gonna stay in that dreaming state. So what I really want you guys to be thinking about in this point, map out the lifestyle that you want to achieve as that future version of you. What does her life look like? What does a Monday look like? What does a Tuesday look like? A Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday? And I want you to be looking at all of the different areas that you would have covered off in the future vision of your life and yourself and to really work through what habits and actions she would be taking consistently. So let's go through an example. So for example, let's chat about health, okay? So If she is someone that is fit, she is healthy, she's nutritious, she has the dream body that you want, she is, I don't know, maybe doing modeling or content creation and she's really confident on camera and she feels freaking incredible. She's an icon, she is the moment, you know, she's creating some, 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 some traction online. Now, if that is your future, from a health perspective, what would she do in order to achieve that? She'd probably go to Pilates. She would probably swap out the coffee every now and then for matcha. She would be making herself nutritious breakfasts and lunch and meal prepping and truly learning about how to have a balanced and nutritious diet. Now, those are all things that you can start to integrate into your lifestyle now. List out what those habits are and in an ideal world, Plan out what your week is. So today is Sunday for me. I'm about to, after this, hit the shower and put on some cute PJs, make my husband and I a delicious dinner, make a little few baked treats and meal prep for the week. That's what I'm doing because that is what that future version of myself does. She makes home cooked meals that are delicious and nutritious and scrumptious. And then I'm gonna plan out my whole week. I'm going to try and incorporate all aspects of my life. So health, tick, we've already covered off what I do in that sense. In the sense of career, content creator, model, businesswoman, I'm going to be planning out and creating my weekly structure so that I know exactly when I'm gonna be filming content, what content I'm gonna be filming, what client work I have coming up, what my deadlines are, and blocking out time for that. And those are the habits and the routines that she would do. So I need to be incorporating the habits that she would have, that future version of me that gets paid to exist, that makes three to four hundred thousand dollars per year on autopilot by being a content creator first and helping other content creators grow their brand, have the confidence to show up and truly dominate in their niche. She would be taking the time to create content for herself, to prioritize that into her day in life, her daily life. So look at all of your goals and try and map out the next week for yourself. I will do a video all about that. Might do it tonight, we'll see how we go. Look at all areas of your life that matter to you and turn those goals into a lifestyle and do it on your own terms. So for me, I only work four hours a day. I wake up really early. At the moment, I'm trying to wake up at like 5.30, 6. I am journaling, working on my content creation strategy in the morning. Then I'll go for a morning walk on my own. On that walk, I'll listen to a podcast. I'll learn some things. I'll take notes, come back, content creation. And then in the afternoon, I might go to lunch with a girlfriend. I might take myself out to lunch. I might go for a walk with a friend, whatever it might be. But from that, it's just bonus times, okay? That's just bonus anything. If I want to work, I work. If I don't, I don't. Everything is done. So for me, that's the type of lifestyle that I want to achieve. It is what I want to do with my life and how I want to live my life and how the future version of me does. So that's what I'm incorporating into my life now. It's a lifestyle, okay? Now, after I've gone ahead and looked at 
what habits I have, the final part of this and the true inner work is what are those beliefs that she has? What does she truly believe on her day to day? What does she think to herself and how does she handle certain situations? So there are certain questions that I ask myself all the time. That is, does this action align with the dream life I want to live? Would the best version of myself make this decision? Is this experience raising or lowering my energy levels? Okay, so let's start with the first one. In everything that I'm doing, I'm thinking, is this instant gratification? And is this going to lead to an immediate benefit for me? Or is this going to lead, maybe it's a long-term benefit and it's going to empower me to become the best version of myself. I've really been trying to limit immediate gratification. For example, I love KFC. I love a go bucket, you know, just like popcorn, chicken, chips, super easy, super affordable and delicious. And it's around the corner from me. So for me, I used to just all the time go and grab a a go bucket like a little popcorn chicken go bucket and eat that for lunch it is not nutritious it made me feel sluggish afterwards and although the immediate gratification was delicious cheap around the corner i didn't have to cook anything me meal prepping today making sure that i have all the ingredients for nut nutritious poke balls in my fridge from this point forward for, for this week and meal prepping for the week it really changes the game for me because now I'm able to quickly chuck together a delicious and nutritious healthy lunch that is easy for me to make and it's there. I feel good, I look good, my bank balance is, is thriving because of it, you know? Like, I really wanna make decisions the way that she would make those decisions. Another thing that I really want you to think about is whether an experience is raising or lowering your energy levels or your vibration. Like for example, with the junk food, it diminished my energy levels. I felt like shit afterwards. If I eat a nutritious lunch, energy levels are skyrocketed. And also I want you to be thinking about this in the sense of TV shows that you're listening to, music that you're listening to, people that you're hanging out with. Is it making you feel empowered? Is it making you feel better? Are you feeling like the best version of yourself? Or are you starting to feel depleted? Are you starting to feel tired? Are you feeling negative and low vibe? Really important questions to think about. Your life will change. If you ask yourself these questions every single day, and I ask myself this at least 10, 20 times per day, probably more, your life will significantly improve and you will be closer to becoming her. So the main gist of this video and what I really wanna communicate with you and encourage you to do is to get into the arena. Stop procrastinating, stop sitting on the sidelines, learning how to do it, planning how to do it, strategizing how to do it. No, push that shit to the side and be in the arena, okay? Do the work, take that leap of faith, and you will learn so much more. There's only so much you can learn about how to swim from a book versus getting in the damn water and trying it out for yourself. So get in the water, do it and do it for you. Because just by taking that one little step, it will change the game. Now, if you haven't already, make sure that you sign up to the waitlist for Be The Moment. It comes out October 4th. October 4th, I will be releasing a free version of uh, Be The Moment 101. So make sure that you join the waitlist to get your hands on that. And we will be taking action. We will be stepping into the arena. We are going to be working towards that future version of ourselves, becoming the best version of ourselves, and truly using social media as a manifestation tool to become her, to become the hottest, most successful version of ourselves. So if you want to start taking action and truly living a life where you are authentically showing up as not only you now, but that version of you that you know you inevitably will become, Make sure that you join Be The Moment. We will be building our brands. We will be getting clarity on who that version of ourselves is and truly stepping into it. Whether you wanna launch your own business, whether you want to be a content creator, introduce new revenue streams into your life, it is so possible for you. It is so easy to do. You just need to learn how to do it. Be surrounded by people that think different, think bigger dream bigger and collectively are going after becoming the best versions of ourselves because you don't need to do it alone. There are so many of us, we may not be neighbors, but we definitely are here in this big, big world going after our dreams, our aspirations and 
getting it. So I want to teach you exactly how I have done that, how I have created my dream life and how you can too. So join the waitlist. I will be giving you guys some special goodies in there and yeah. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe. Would absolutely love the support. Like I said, when I'm recording this, just hit a thousand subscribers yesterday. Feeling myself. Um, yeah, and I'm just so happy. Being in the arena is so much better than planning. I mean, imagine if I was still planning how to start a damn YouTube channel and still having my zero followers. That would have sucked. Well, that was my reality for 10 years, so it wouldn't have sucked that bad. But like, this is better. This is better. <laughs> okay, well, best of luck to you. I'm sending you so much love and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.